It's a busy time of the year and sometimes it just so happens that we might not use our planners if they're not decorated. <gasps> so in today's video, I'm going to share a couple of easy spread ideas on how to optimize the process and make sure that the planners are just so, so pretty. The first spread I'm making is this big happy planner spread. And the technique, which I'm um, in no way patented, is this proportional cluster one. Beautiful. <laughs> You'd need some sort of a box sticker sheet, floral sticker sheet, and optional, some non-floral decorations. That's what would make up the cluster. I've printed plants and blanks baking sheet on A4 sticker paper, and I fussy cut it myself using a gyro cut as my silhouette and I had a bit of a falling out. We decided to take a bit of a break. I thought it'd be easier this way. This is my journal happy planner, so the location of the boxes doesn't matter at all functionally. So we can look at the spread and divide it into a few parts. It can either be a sidebar, which for me is always separate, and five different parts that are in the different thirds of the planner. So it's never two of them at the same level. Or you can even do three different parts of bigger clusters. So one could be at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle. How convenient for these happy planners. With this in mind, I'm just literally taking one of each, one box or a couple of boxes together, and I can rotate the box in any direction too to see which side is prettier. Then one decorative floral kind of a sticker. I've selected these orange floral clusters from the Hello Winter sticker book from Live Love Posh and also of course my baking sheet. I would have printed them smaller but since this is my big happy planner I thought big stickers would do. Some of these sticker books have different stickers on one sheet and you can cluster them together too. Sometimes they even have pre-made clusters. That would even be easier since I don't actually have to go looking for the matching florals or the matching sheets, but I do like combining two sticker books or two different sheets. It brings me that sense that I'm using up my supplies in a weird way. Not that I could ever actually use up all the stickers. In this spread, I'm starting with the boxes first mainly, just to better see the position of them. But of course, you can also start with the sticker first and put boxes on top. Probably makes a bit more sense as the box writing space is not compromised. It sounds like overthinking to me, but I promise it's that easy. Essentially, you're just literally pulling one sticker onto another and it looks nice and proportional and that's the spread completed. I do this a lot, just look at where the boxes are going to go and wrap the stickers around them. Especially now that we're going into Christmas and I want my planner to be all pretty and Christmassy, but do not want to spend too long achieving this. The next spread, which is essentially the same kind of a proportion technique, but with a dashboard layout. I've still not 100% gotten dashboard decorating down, but it's the most functional of the planners and if I don't decorate it, I'm less inclined to use it sometimes. And we just cannot let that happen. I'm using these houses from Live La Posh Chick Christmas sticker book. Cheek. Chic. Gosh. These houses from Live La Poch Chic Christmas sticker book. Wow as I thought it'd be extra easy to sprinkle them around. I always start with putting something on these left bottom bits as I never use it for notes or anything. For the right page, it's the easiest bit as I feel you can just decorate it in the checkers kind of style and sprinkle stickers one on the right side and one on the left side and then just go on doing that. Some of these houses are a bit bigger though, so I just did the same thing but more spread out So and ended up putting an extra house on as it seemed a little bit empty with just one there as well. One lonely house, don't want that. <laughs> Do any of you guys decorate your houses like in Home Alone? <laughs> I'd love to live in the neighborhood where every house has beautiful Christmas lights. The most I do is put out a Christmas tree and my cards from previous years and that's me done. This is one of the reasons I want to make more money, a whole Christmas decoration buying spree. It would be so nice. Anyway, I get back to the left page and I just add stickers in the same kind of fashion, diagonally, one on the right, one on the left, and just wanted to add a little bit more so just added two little ones in the corners as well. Now the spread looked a little empty, just a little one dimensional, so I decided to look for small boxes which really I don't know what will I write in. During the week, I'll figure something out. It's all about the decorating, that's the most important part. There aren't any matching boxes in the sticker book, scandalous. So I decided to add some of these little red ones from one of the previous books. Looks much more nicer now and just added them in empty spaces, checkers kind of style. Again, boom, easy. 
done two of the spreads for next week and it's only been what like 15 minutes so glad please let me know if you'd like to see more of a plan with me kind of videos i've been contemplating making them like for one individual spread but i thought no one would be interested would love to hear your thoughts on that and what spreads you'd like to see if that's the case Thank you so much. I have been known to overthink some of the spreads, so I hope this video showed you that there is an easier way and I just can't wait to see your spreads. If you like this video, you might also want to check this one out that's all about the back planning, just in case these spreads just didn't up getting filled. It happens. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next craft session.